Before we proceed to our lesson for today, let's find out what is this word. This word means showing good behavior, actions, and manners when one communicates or deals with other people. It starts with letter C. I will give you 15 seconds to know what is this word. Time's up! This is courtesy. C-O-U-R-T-E-S-Y. Courtesy. When we say courtesy, it means showing good behavior, actions, and manners when one communicates or deals with other people. Now, let's have the second word. These expressions are good statements of words one uses when communicating or dealing with other people. It starts with letter P. I will give you another 15 seconds to think what is this word. Time's up! The word is polite. Polite expressions. When we say polite expressions, these are good statements of words one uses when communicating or dealing with other people. To show politeness and respect toward people you often see or interact with, greet or say them, Good morning! Good afternoon! Good evening! When you want to know how a person doing, say, Hi! How are you? Hello! How have you been? Before leaving the house or after talking with your friends, say, Goodbye! Nice to see you! When making a request to somebody, use polite expressions such as Please or May I? When you hurt someone else's feelings or cause him or her harm, you should say, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I apologize. Whenever you would like to pass in a crowded hallway or when there are people blocking your way, Say in a gentle manner, Excuse me, may I pass? Whenever you receive a gift, a kind word, 
or someone shows kindness to you, you say, Thank you! Now, let's check your understanding about our lesson. I will give you 15 seconds for each situation for you to think what will be the appropriate expression needed in each situation. Number 1. The class is ongoing but you feel that there is a need for you to go to the comfort room. What will you say to your teacher? Number two, you are on the dining table and you want to get the rice, but it is far from your place. What will you say to the person near the bowl of rice? Number 3. You are not able to answer the question of your teacher because you were absent last meeting. What will you tell to your teacher? Number 4. Patricia returned the wallet that you left in the cafeteria. What will you say to Patricia? Number 5. You saw your mom carrying a lot of things that she bought in the supermarket. What will you say to your mom? So that's all for today, learners. You should always remember the polite expressions that we have discussed for today. And don't forget to use them every day. Thank you for listening!